So you decided to show your face then? Yeah, yeah. Where the bloody hell have you been? Went to America, didn't I? Where's that? Well... <laughs> <laughs> so what the bloody hell have you been doing over there? Well, I did all the usual Disney World stuff. I went right. to Universal and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, okay. But uh, I figured, we can, I mean, it's a tenuous link to gaming. Um, and there is a new Star Wars film coming out next month. <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> is a strong there. player in the gaming. Uh, well, yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, games, I went they? to Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Which yeah, is their new uh, in Hollywood Studios, Disney's new Star Wars area. But wait, I've I've heard about this that something to do with Star Wars and Disney. They've joined forces. Well, they own them. like ninety percent of everything now. Don't <laughs> yeah, they? they own. Yeah, they own more than you realise. Do you so, like yeah. entertainment? Because then you like Disney. Yeah, then then Disney got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. The Galaxy's Edge itself, it's built up like a big spaceport. It's got a massive scale Millennium Falcon there. That's it. No, I should clear this up actually. You don't really like Star Wars, do you? You're not really into it. It's not, there's no hatred going on. I don't dislike it. <laughs> I just, it's not really my cup of tea. I've no. seen the, uh, the Space Wizards. I've seen the know. true original uh, films. I've seen those. Um, but it's not just not for me. I don't agree with George Lucas's uh, way of filmmaking. Oh, yeah, he's a shy so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's just not for me. He's a known know. arsehole. What I don't know about Star Wars could fill a warehouse, mate. <laughs> tell you, I have no idea. Fill Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So it's got. It's there's quite a lot of cool stuff there, and a lot of little Easter visual Easter mm -hmm. eggs to see. No. Um, spaceships on top. There's a load of stuff that does nothing. It's just there as decoration that costs millions of pounds. Oh, yeah. Um, Makes but it's got a fully functioning cantina in there with a DJ, a robotic animatronic DJ that plays classic Star Wars right. tunes. <laughs> that, that reference I would know, yeah. Has it, it got? <laughs> yeah, so that's in there, and you can buy really expensive cocktails. Um, there's a cantina there. Yeah. It's got you know DJ that plays like cantina band song and stuff. Um, it's I paid eighteen dollars for a cocktail that fizzed, where like like smoked like dry ice. Um, <laughs> That was actually quite nice, but really expensive. If you're in Star Wars, I'd say <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Fizzy bit just went on my tongue and it really fucking burns. <laughs> there's um, there's a big market area yeah. that's um, well, obviously, uh, essentially the whole thing is designed to sell you things. Um, really? Yeah, I know, <laughs> mental in it. That's weird. But like the, all of the items are separated mm -hmm. into different little cubby holes in this market. All right. Um, I'm with it. Uh, so, like for instance, there's a thing that there's an area that just sells plushies. Yeah. There's loads of different Star Wars things like torn tools and fucking rancors and stuff. And in the middle, there's this animatronic creature that like moves, it breathes, it breathes. It's mental, like the attention to detail in this. Yeah. Um, there's a stall that sells blue milk, uh, but it's like a frozen drink that it's like a frozen ras blue raspberry. I had. Uh, okay. You can have it with a shot of rum in it. Delicious, but it oh, tastes. Did, yeah. yeah, it tastes really milky. <laughs> it's rancid. Milky. Yeah, I mean, it's nice, but it, it, the flavour's nice, but it's got a milky texture to it, which I don't understand what they're going for there. Uh, milky sort of drinks with alcohol infused. I'm not really keen yeah. on generally. Horrendous. Yeah. They got a nice bit which you have to book well in advance for to build your own lightsaber. Um, it costs two hundred and fifteen dollars. You didn't. You did, mate. <laughs> did. Taking the handle off for the benefit of the recording. Yeah. yeah. That's what I went with. It's pretty good. You go into a room, there's 14 of you. At so time. You, you designed that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't design it, I got given. Um, you, sort of templates or. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. you get given a load of uh, different pieces and you yeah. slot them all together. Um, and you pick your Kyber crystal, that's what colours your lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got Mace Windu purple, of course. Because, of course, you did. The yeah. best colour. Um, <laughs> Because that's Samuel L. Jackson's. Uh, so that was pretty badass. That that about Star Wars, I do know. Yeah, yeah. Samuel L. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and apparently it's for no reason whatsoever. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, he just decided he, he just wanted, wanted a purple, purple one, yeah, and they yeah. gave it to him because it's Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, fair yeah, enough. If you want him in your film, you to do give him what he wants. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so I think with Galaxy's Edge, the end result is for there to be two rides. Rides there. Yeah, yeah. Um, the second one wasn't open when I went there. It opens, I think. At the beginning of December, right. which is annoying because it was supposed to be open by the time I was there, and now it's not. Okay, bit, just a bit of a delay a bit. then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's no work going on there, so it's finished, but it's not opening it. Not enough staff, maybe. Well, well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can't fucking move for staff. <laughs> but tried to do a bit of shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're on to you. There's eh? fucking loads of them. Wherever you look, there's somebody. Hey, friend. But I'll tell you, they're too jolly. 
Yanks. Americans are proper creatures. They absolutely love, they're off their tits on happiness there. They love it. Because they love they're it. paid to be. If you love Disney that much, I'll get a job in Disney. Oh. I love it. That's what's going on. Yeah, I imagine you get fired if you act sad at all. If you show emotion. I think they do take a hard line with <laughs> certain things. I, I can imagine. Smile. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a Nazi boot camp. <laughs> So, but like the main thing yeah. I went there for was to try Smuggler's Run. Footage of course. Yes, yeah. oh yeah, loads of it. Yeah. Um, of course, the footage that you'll see of the actual ride itself, I did not take because you're not allowed to film in there. They allowed certain YouTubers filming rights. Right, okay. Um, but through the medium of fair use, I'm going to show you some of that. <laughs> There's loads of stuff in the queue, which was about an hour long. Um, loads of stuff to look at. It's like, like animated bits. Um, moving parts, loads of it, to make standing in line behind a load of was sweaty it, arseholes a little bit more bearable. Was it was it Star Wars heavy? Was it, it was a lot? Was it a big Star Wars section or? or oh yeah, it's massive. Right, like the other bit, the old bit where Star Tours is, that was just one ride, and then a little bit that looked like Endor, but so it's the, now it's a whole section. The, the new little baby, the, the yeah, really hooks back massive. Quick. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah. Yeah, the ride itself meant a lot to me because you got to ride, you got to pilot the Millennium Falcon. Wow. And the reason I say it's less a ride, more a game, is I've noticed this trend with theme, theme parks now is they're going, they're moving away from roller coasters for the most part and going with simulators. I imagine it's because there are less chance, there's less chance someone will lose a leg on a simulator. Yeah. You have to pay a millions. Or less, less chance of death, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So and it, it's, it's going that way anyway because it's. Uh, it's Gaming related, it's interaction, oh, yeah. it's something you can interact with. So they were say the actual <coughs> ride itself takes place in a mock up of the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, Han Solo spaceship. That's um, what that is. Yeah. Oh, right. Exactly. <laughs> they look sort of like a crumpet with a bit come off right. the side. Um, so you sit in that, there's six people to a team. Right. And this is sort of, I mean, it's amazing because the whole, the whole window is filled with stuff. Yeah. Um, so at the front, you've got two people at the front. They steer, and they act, you can actually steer the ship yeah. through this level, let's call it. Um, one on the left goes um, up and down, one on the right, um, Got it. right and left, and also controls the hyperdrive, which is fucking badass. Uh, behind that, two gunners, left and right, and they control the weapons on either side. And you've got engineers that fix repairs, uh, you know, that yeah. facilitate repairs at the back, and essentially their job is to press buttons when they flash. They say if you're a pilot, you actually get to do stuff, and if you're an engineer, you get to correct pilots' mistakes. So you, someone's drawing the short straws there. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. And this, like, it, so it's amazing. <laughs> the point. I did it. I did it a load. It I kept going on. It. It's amazing. But it's. I think if theme parks are going to carry on doing this interactive ride, it's take thing, ages, isn't it? It's yeah. It's going to have to be better because I found my enjoyment depended entirely on the other people on the who were in the ride with me. There was a bloke who was sat <laughs> yeah, piloting that's, that's it with his point. girlfriend who obviously didn't want to be there and um, like, sort of it prompts you, so, so she was controlling the warp speed thing and the button, <laughs> the, the lever flashed up and the voice said, now puts into hyperdrive and she just stared at it. <laughs> Guy opposite me went, <laughs> her boyfriend looked at her, just stared at her and then did it for her and stared at her the whole time and then she instantly crashed into a load of shit. That is like, and it was, yeah, it was wank because of that. Um, it, yeah, it, it really is limited by the other twats you have That's, with you. Because you might not be even be with them. No, well. You might, even if, if you Exactly, I mean, two these two were complete strangers. <laughs> but you have to do it in a six. Unless yeah. you're in a group, then. If you're in a group of people you know, that's fine. Yeah. But you're just lumbered with like four other people. Yeah. Brilliant. And I'll tell you what, piloting it is difficult. Because you can only you're only controlling one axis. Yeah. The yeah, other the, person. Yeah. So you have to work in tandem. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's good, but it doesn't make a great deal of sense. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So if you fancy, if you want to go, and there's you've got five mates that are all they're all up for it, and you've all got money to piss up the wall on a trip to Florida, do it because you'll love it. Um, if there's four of you, or you're on your own, fucking leave it. Actually, I will say the actual experience of the ride itself, it, it's sort of a simulator that you control. It's yeah, good yeah. and it, you know, it, it's immersive. In, in reference to this girl who wasn't 
play, really playing along, do you have have to really be into Star Wars to enjoy it, or do you just really. be like a regular human? No. To be, this is fun. This, oh yeah, yeah, with this. exactly. It really. I mean, it's more for Star. If you're into Star Wars, you'll Dennis appreciate Paris. more of like the sights and the sounds and the fact you're in the Millennium Falcon, which is fairly faithfully recreated, yeah. to be honest. Um, but anyone can enjoy it, and yeah. I saw plenty of people that I mean, there's no way they're into Star Wars. Um, <laughs> It's one of, I swear she was about 90. Yeah, but she could be into Star Wars. There's, there's, there's this massive assumption that I am into Star Wars. When, whenever someone sees me, they start talking to me about Star Wars. And I'm like, you know, it's, it just reminds me of when someone tries to talk to me about football. I always chime in with the uh, with, with the phrase, bad news about Chelsea the other week, wouldn't it? That always and it always works. Oh yeah, that'll always work. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And then, then you know, they think you're into football as well. Yeah. And, uh, same I do goes for Tottenham Star as well. You can Does always it? say, yeah, Tottenham and Leeds, because they always bottle it. Shame about Leeds the other week, isn't it? Yeah. Liverpool, that works. In fact, nearly any football team. Well, it's almost yeah. as if it's winning and losing. <laughs> <laughs> Except Man City, it never works for them, because they always fucking win. Moving away from Star Wars, God. it wouldn't be a trip away without me getting you a gift. Of course. Um, now I know you're not really into Star Wars. And it doesn't really come across on the channel that often, but what we are both into is The Simpsons. Yes. Can't get enough of it. For some reason, we don't really touch on The Simpsons no. at all, but we are obsessed with early. Yeah. So let's get this right. What are we talking up to? Season 10? Yeah. Acceptable? Yeah. Uh, after that point. <laughs> Acceptable. After that point, it's a different show. I have, to, I have to actually inform you of this. Yeah. There are two different shows called The Simpsons. Yeah. Just work Fairly. it out. Yeah. First one, the best one, has characters that have jokes. Yes, there are jokes. The new one yeah. has characters that are jokes. Yes, yeah, yeah that's fair enough. It's so. disgraceful. <laughs> but um, Universal Studios has a Springfield area. It's got a ride. It's got Krusty Burger. Delicious. Oh, man. Um, Duff Brewery's there. I went in Moe's Tavern. Um, had, a, had a Duff. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Uh, uh, I know uh, some some other surly dude. The guy who was surly, the bartender, was a really surly prick as well. He kept on uh, this forty-year-old bloke. He was clearly in his forties. Um, didn't have ID, <sighs> but didn't speak a lot of English. So he was going, me, thirty-five. I thought, are oh, you fuck thirty-five? <laughs> Him, twenty-one. How old are you? And he kept just saying it. And the guy was going, I say, I have a beer. I have a beer. I have a beer. And in the end, he would. Fine. What beer do you want? You just had enough of it. That was it. pointless. Then. Yeah, it was funny. Um, <laughs> they had a, they got a quickie mart there, which is where they hock most of their merchandise. Uh, Apu, one of the greatest characters to ever been on the Simpsons. By well, the I'm way. glad you say that because um, this is sort of a combination of two things. Right. If you ever wanted to work at the quickie mart just for a day, like James Woods does. Yeah, because it gets to meet Apu. Cool. Well, now you can because you've got your own quickie mart, <laughs> quickie Amazing. mart ID badge, oh, which what? also features another joke. Um, Mummy, mummy, get me a license plate. No, come along. Bort. Bort. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. I tried to find you a bought license plate, but they don't sell them anymore. Uh, well, this is this is more than enough, mate. <laughs> this, this is going to be like it. it's going to be warm on the, on the channel from now on. <laughs> okay, and, and where it work? <laughs> Please do. Yeah. So, yeah. Any new employees? Yeah, this is bought. Cracking in it. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, loving it. Thanks, mate. Hey, no worries. That's amazing. Um, yeah. It's, it's going to be warm from now on, you're going to see yeah. all that. <laughs> yeah, so to summarise, Galaxy's Edge, pretty good, very expensive, rides alright depending on who you go with, and that's and I've got a, gift. a great gift. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> see you later. See ya.